Greetings, friends. My assignment is Matthew chapter 23 and 24. And chapter 23 of Matthew, the Lord is criticizing and he's chastising the religious leaders of that day. The Lord, for 39 chapters, he's trying to get them to change their ways. And he's talking about their attitudes. He's talking about their dispositions. He's talking about their hypocrisy even. And so he, he tells them, Look, it's just like if you have a pair of shoes and you're shining your shoes, but on the bottom, they have holes in them. He's trying to get them to see the hypocrisy of their ways. He's trying to get them to change their ways. And he's saying, woe unto you. Woe, look at, look at your, consider your ways. Check your ways out. Change your ways. All in all, God wants us to put him first, front, and center in our lives. And when we do that, It'll be a blessing to the body of Christ. It'll be a blessing for you as we continue to flourish, increase, and grow in Christ. And then we move over to Matthew chapter 24. His, his disciples are marveling at the temples, at the buildings that were made. And J Jesus is trying to say, well, this, this is only temporary. These buildings are going to come down. So don't marvel at these buildings. Uh, a change is going to come. And they, so his disciples asked him the question, when? When is a change going to come? And he goes on to talk about the future. He talks about abomination of desolation. He tells them there are going to be wars. There are going to be rumors of wars. There are going to be pestilences. There are going to be famines and all kind of stuff. But the end is not yet. He's saying this is just the beginning of sorrows. So the bottom line is we ought to be ready. God wants to be ye also ready when he comes. Let us pray. God, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you, Lord, for your wisdom. Lord, we thank you for grace. We thank you for your truth. Help us to live bigger, better, and bolder for you. All in all, Lord, that it will be a, bring a smile to your face. We ask that you would have your way as we go through this Lenten 40-day period, that we might be stronger and blessed of you. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen.